this is the beauty, our new creation, in search for a sustainable, um, in search for a good uh, wood stove that will be sustainable for the environment here, burning clean, and um, it kind of utilize some of the concept from a rocket stove, um, and from masonry heaters. So it has a burn chamber, uh, which from our um, learning from the locals, it was very much preferred. They didn't like the, the concept of the rocket stove uh, with feeding and having to maintain the, the heat, uh, the burning, and stoking and such. I utilize local resources very well. And of course this can be made nicer with a, you don't need to use a, actually an old barrel like this but it's interesting to see what can be used okay so <coughs> now I open this stuff so let's have a look inside how it looks you get an idea of uh, the concept uh, so you can see right down here You can see the rocks here. The interesting thing is that the gas goes around in the bell and it totally colors the rocks on every side. So what happens is that the, the barrel gets filled with the fumes from the from the fire and it's totally consuming all the rocks. So they, they heat up pretty well and the surface inside this bucket becomes really big because kind of yeah, the rocks are hardly touching each other. So it's kind of making this kind of uh, natural kind of uh, channels everywhere. I'm trying to make it like a unit that you know can easily be fit in a house and you can you can kind of uh, install it afterwards. The mass is probably somewhere around 400 kilos uh, for this uh, this bucket of, of uh, rocks. It's not it, super simple to build but it's not very complicated neither and the resources that you need is almost nothing that's the main thing you get the price really low like the rocket mass heater so we're 18 minutes into the burn you can see the pipe here uh, there's some smoke coming but my, my wood is not perfect dry so I think most of that uh, would be steam. So this flu is the standard type of flu that they have in all houses here. Nothing visible from the flu. Let's see how it looks down in the burn chamber. It's really really hot in front of a door. Disturbing the burn a little bit just to get a good view of what's going on inside here. It's so hot, I'm afraid to hurt my camera. So there's still wood left, and you see the way the the burn chamber is shaped. The wood will kind of. Uh, fall back in towards and it's it's kind of narrower at the back let's see how it works after the burn yeah it's still kind of but anyway it's far 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 better than the boxes that they use uh, thin metal sheet boxes that they use here and uh, I think when it's a uh, finished product it can it can suit the needs here very well <laughs> 